Hi everybody, welcome to the Matt Western 365 YouTube channel and another episode of Flow Bytes, some small bite-sized videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day flow problems or just give you some ideas about how you can use it more effectively. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to implement recurring reminders for if we are using the approval actions and we want to remind users that they have something that they need to, uh, to actually go and do. Now, this is going to build on a concept which Scott Shearer, a business applications MVP from the US, uh, released last year, uh, and he did a similar flow which was uh, to do with escalations. And I'd recommend checking out that video as well because that's also a really good implementation of flow. But what we're gonna be looking at today is using that same type of model for how we can have those reminders sent at regular intervals to make sure that our users are doing what we need them to do. So let's have a look at how we're going to structure this. So first thing with my flow is I have a trigger that could be when an item is created or it could be when a file is created in SharePoint or some other mechanism that we want to trigger an approval on. I then have my approval actions and any subsequent logic as a result of those approvals, uh, approval actions completing. And then what I'm actually going to be using is a parallel step and I'm gonna have some recurrence logic in that parallel step. So that's running effectively at the same time as the approval is running. So that's effectively the what we're trying to do. Let's go and do it. So now that we're in flow, let's have a look at a basic flow, which I've already got configured and working. And this is doing my basic approval. So I have a trigger, which is when a file is created in SharePoint. I'm only looking at the properties for the file here. I'm also having a start and wait for an approval. So effectively, this will send an approval request to, to me and it won't progress any further until I approve or reject that approval. And then I have some logic afterwards to say, based on the outcome, I'm either going to send an email which says that the uh, document has been approved or I'm gonna send an email that is being rejected. So what I need to do is, like I showed in the diagram previously, I need to branch my logic so that I can have this running in one uh, one branch and my recurrence running in another. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to branch up here. So I'm going to go above my approve, my start approval and I'm going to add a parallel branch. And the first thing that I want to do is exactly like Scott Shearer did in his, is I'm going to put a delay. And for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to say I'm only going to delay for 20 seconds just so that we can actually see this working and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email so I'm going to send an email to me and let's put a reminder in there So please can you approve this file? So now if we follow this logic through, we're gonna have a trigger. Both of these branches are going to be running at exactly the same time. We're gonna have the approval running and we're gonna have a delay here, uh, which is then gonna wait for 20 seconds and send a reminder. However, what we need to be uh, mindful of here is that this uh, branch is only gonna run once. So what I need to do is build a piece of recurring logic into here to ensure that this is going to keep firing every 20 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a do until loop on this side. So that effectively I can control when this uh, leg is actually gonna be running. I'm just gonna drag and drop my actions into there. So now these actions will keep looping until I give it a, a, a criteria to, in order to stop. Now, at the moment, I have nothing up here to say that, I want, uh, that I'm actually going to make it stop. So let's give it something. So I'm going to initialize a variable up here. I'm just going to call that break. And by default, it's going to be break as false. So that means it's not going to update, uh, it's not going to change anything. So one of the things to be mindful of is when you are using parallel branches is just that they do flick around a lot when you're trying to, when you're actually making changes. 
so that's the reason why that's suddenly moved onto the left hand side. So I'm going to go and update my loop. So my loop is going to break, it is going to run until the break is equal to true. Okay, so this will keep running until it's true. But at the moment, I have nothing actually changing that value. So over here, I need to make sure that either as part of these legs, or I'm going to do it straight afterwards, that I actually set that variable break to be true. So now, as a result of this leg completing or going through the condition through uh, sending the emails and then subsequently setting the variable this the next time this runs this will be set to true and therefore won't run however if i've got a longer uh, a longer delay in effect then i need to make sure that this isn't going to fire after this has actually been uh, being completed so if i complete this and the loop is uh, and we're already in this delay action then it will still send out a reminder. So I just need to put one last check in here to make sure that we're not going to be sending the email erroneously. So if I come in as another action and I'm going to just add another condition in here. And let's just really quickly rename that. And so in this condition, I'm going to set my break I'm going to say that if we're not equal to true, therefore we haven't finished looping round, then I'm going to send my email. If not, then I could just simply do nothing here and that would, event, uh, that would just stop on its own accord. So let's go and add just a delay after this because what I want to do is put this into the scenario that there might actually be some more logic taking place after this. And what I just want to prove is that um, the left-hand side will no longer be firing after this has actually been completed. So I'm going to say, I'm going to pause that for five minutes and let's save that. So I'm going to go and test this. I'm going to perform the trigger action. And I'm going to go and upload a document into my document library. So now if I come back to here, let's come and have a look at what's going on. So I've got my, when a file is created, you can see that my start and wait for approvals just kicked in. My do until is ticking away here at the moment. And I've got my initialized variable, which is currently set to false. So what I'm expecting here is my initial email saying, can you please approve this? Because I've got a, uh, a delay of 20 seconds, I've got, can you please approve this file? And we'll see a few of those popping through now while I actually wait for the approval to actually uh, complete. So there we can see that's actually now dropping through. So if I come back and look at my flow now, we're still in this perpetual loop here. We're still waiting for a response. So let's go and approve that document. Because I'm gonna get really sick of those spam emails coming through. So let's go and approve that. So approve, let's confirm it. So now if I come back to my run history, we can see that uh, this is now dropping down. My condition's completed. I've now set my variable to true. My delay is now running just to, uh, again, just to sort of prove that the, we're not gonna receive any more reminder emails uh, whilst the rest of this logic is running. And as you can see, 
what I've actually got here in my inbox is I've got my approval emails, I've then got my proposal accepted, um, and I'm not receiving any more emails now because I've done everything that I need to do. And we can see here that I've got I've had five runs. If I look at my conditions, so the f for three, the email sent, four, the email sent, five, it didn't. So you can see there that it's successfully picked up that the, uh, that variable changed and therefore won't send any more reminders. So what we've just done is we've implemented a recurring reminder for approval emails. So remember approval emails will generate an initial email but they won't send any follow-ups. So we've just used a parallel branch or a, a parallel leg within our flow uh, which has got a recurring email with a slight delay so that we can make sure that it's not going to keep sending every few seconds uh, and it just allows us to keep sending those reminders out to our, to our users. So I hope that's been useful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, LinkedIn or through the Microsoft Flow community uh, and I'll be happy to give you a hand. So I hope you all have, have a good day and I'll speak to you soon.